r slash ask reddit redditors with thin walls what have you heard in your apartment my upstairs neighbors taking turns zapping each other with a stun gun hitting the floor groaning in pain and then laughing like beavis and butthead this is a special breed of dumb um i'm pretty sure i'd like your upstairs neighbors i'd totally let myself be taste at least once someone sneezed we said bless you they laughed damn it lawrence can't you just pretend like we can't hear each other through the wall i've heard my neighbor giving his granddaughter a xylophone for birthday i guess she could play it well and kept playing for a while immediately after she left i could hear him trying to play something his granddaughter played he practiced for a solid hour until he managed to play this song correctly and stopped with a joyful yes. It was one of the purest things I've ever experienced. What a wholesome break from bad music and people banging. What can only be described as my flatmate having phone sex while using Christian Bale's Batman voice. I'm Fatman. It's not the awards I received, but who I fap to that defines me. I moved from far away. So I have a different state license plate than everyone else at the apartment complex. A couple of days ago I had my upstairs neighbor drunkenly ranting to his wife about what he thinks I'm up to. He's convinced that I'm on the run from something. I'm just in grad school mayo. I lived next to a guy who took care of his disabled girlfriend. She stayed home with a nurse while he worked to support them and pay for her health care. Everyone really admired him for it. He used to get drunk and tell her that if she doesn't start putting out he's gonna throw her ass out. William, we do not hit. His mom was visiting. He was 30. Yesterday when I was taking a shit my neighbor was blasting classical music on full volume. It was the most majestic and relaxing shit I've taken in a long time. Pre-dawn hours. Blizzard outside. Everything still and quiet. My roommate and I heard our neighbor on the other side of the firewall fart. Wet and deep like a stifled baritone sax, and exclaimed to himself in a twisted combination of awe and disgust, Oh my god, we burst out laughing, and hear him chime in with pride. Did you guys hear that? Vindicated that his fart was heard and forever lives in our memories. An argument about money while I was doing the dishes. It ended with a slam door and one of them on a piano, hitting the keys like a maniac. Some people read, some people go get something to eat. Some people exercise. This mother ducker relieves stress by going crazy on a piano. LOL. I've heard and felt the neighbors upstairs having sex. And apparently they like to rearrange the furniture at least twice a week. My upstairs neighbors used to do the furniture moving thing. We both had studio apartments and it was a huge mystery to me how they could move what sounded like a warehouse full of furniture for an hour in such a tiny place. I've been hearing Don't Stop Believing by Journey every morning at least twice for about a month now. Gina. I love you. Gina no. Gina. Damn it put the knife down. At this point, both the apartments adjoining to Gina's called the police. Gina's husband decided to spend the night elsewhere. Can you elaborate on the story I'm curious. I woke up one morning in a daze. Started walking down my stairs. I live in a townhouse condo, and paused and farted, way louder than I expected. My neighbor next door started laughing so hard from her living room. I once interrupted my neighbor's sexcapades with a rather gigantic fart. Dude was not amused and I was treated to incessant door slamming for the rest of the night. Our neighbors were once talking loud and I was nosy so I put my ear up to the wall and realized she was reading him Harry Potter pretty enthusiastically and it made my heart melt. Did you ask for them to keep reading when they stopped? He left an unobtrusive note on her bathroom mirror asking when she'll read again. Don't worry, next time there's some steam, she'll see it. My dad snoring like a bear, and my mum snoring like a walrus. If they argue, they snore out of sync, and if they have a nice day they snore in sync. It's really quite sweet. I actually manage an apartment complex where my office is surrounded by a one bedroom unit. The building is old and the walls are thin. The tenant that used to live in the unit was a quiet man but would frequently sing beautiful opera music. His voice was amazing and I loved it every time I heard him sing. Then one time I saw him in the halls and made the mistake of asking if he was the one who sang these beautiful opera songs. His face turned red but he confirmed that it was him. 
I told him that I always enjoyed it when I heard him sing and that it would always brighten my day. Never should have said anything because I never heard him sing again. I had a neighbor who was a professional opera singer. While chatting one day I made a comment about her singing. She got embarrassed and said she would start practicing in her bedroom or another location so as to not bother me. I had to all but beg her not to do such a thing as I thoroughly enjoyed it. it. Couple upstairs would argue frequently. One particular evening. They had an epic battle. It was hours long. About 2 hours into the argument, 11pm on a weeknight, we heard the woman shout first of all. That was the moment we knew sleeping wouldn't be restful that night. My ex-neighbors never let their kids leave the house, and preferred to raise bubble children. The elder son, 12 or 13, was pitifully fragile. One day I heard him crying because he shit on his own hands. I could hear my neighbor fart and when her phone went off on vibrate, it was like having roommates I couldn't see. Oh. I thought they were connected. Every time her phone went off, she farted. Years ago I had an upstairs neighbor. At 2am, every night, I would hear something sprint across the entire apartment. I realized three things. It was very fast. It took small strides and it never deviated from its path. One day, I saw my neighbor outside and I said, I don't know how you have energy at 2am. He responded with, dude, I've been working the midnight to 8am shift for 15 years. Don't bother me at all. That night, I watched him leave his house, drive off, and waited 2 hours. At exactly 2am, I heard what sounded like 2 feet hit the floor in his bedroom, and the marathon started. A few weeks later, I see him outside. I tell him what I hear at night and he says, That's strange. No one has my keys. It's just me and my rabbit up there. More what my neighbor heard. I'm a deep sleeper and was an even deeper sleeper as a teenager. My phone alarm was going off for 30 minutes and my neighbors could hear it through the walls. Assumed it was a burglar alarm and called the police. Waking up to the police banging on my door was confusing. The alarm worked. Just in a roundabout way. One day my neighbor was spontaneously singing the national anthem America and stopped midline and cuss because they messed up the words. So I sang the correct next line and they burst out laughing before coming back in and finishing the song with me. I've still never met that neighbor. 10 out of 10 voice. In our old apartment our upstairs neighbor had extremely loud, theatrically enthusiastic sex in the middle of the day. The puzzle was that he would stop in the middle and we'd hear him walk to where the bathroom is, stay there for a minute or two and then walk back and resume in the bedroom. It was the same pattern every time. We could never figure out what that was all about. Any ideas welcomed. Heard the couple next door arguing. The wife was furious because she realized he had been cheating on her after she found out she had chlamydia. He tried to convince her that she must have been the unfaithful one. She still lives there. He doesn't. Similar one. My brother and I shared an apartment and he told me one morning that the night before he had heard one of the male college students in the apartment above us having a heated discussion with what he assumes is the guy's girlfriend. He could only hear the guy's half of the conversation. But the line that most caught his attention was a very sincere, I wouldn't have come in her mouth if I loved her. When I was an older teenager I had my own tiny apartment in the hood and a raging a-hole gang member for a boyfriend. We would get in raucous fights and my downstairs neighbor would call the police. One time, I was crying quietly after a particularly bad fight that had gotten physical and I heard my neighbor arguing with her husband no. I'm not going to mind my own business and ignore it. I don't care that he always comes back the next day and she forgives him. One day he's going to really hurt her or kill her and I'm not going to live with knowing that I sat there and did nothing when I knew a girl was being abused. I was naive and in love. I thought and ignorant and young and I had never considered it abuse. That felt so melodramatic but I realized that my neighbor was right. Finally left him for good after that fight. So, good looking out random lady in East LA in 1999. I'm sorry for being the worst neighbor imaginable. The way my old apartments were laid out, the neighbor's bedroom was right next to my kitchen dining room. One night, I hear them banging. Thin walls are thinner when the bed is hitting the wall. While I was fixing dinner, I just turned up the music and continued on with my life. Two hours later, I was cleaning up, doing dishes, 
and generally tidying up when I heard the familiar thump 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 of banging, I think. Good for them and bag up the trash to take out. Thump thump thump. I open the door and take my bag of trash outside. As I'm walking out, I see the male half of my thumping neighbors, walking in from his car, walking back from the dumpster. I see a half naked dude running out of the neighbor's apartment. They moved shortly after that. I once heard an argument that went a little like this. Stop treating me like I'm stupid. You asked if seahorses were mammals. Jessica, they give live birth. My neighbors had a party at 4am. They were playing Gangnam Style and some very bad country music. That's when you should have counted with the most extreme death metal you could find. Cranked up to full volume. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.